both Universe 2 and Universe 6 now gone from the Tournament of Power, Universe 4 finds their perfect opportunity to strike as they collectively target Universe 7 in a very stealthy way in which nobody sees coming, but the question is, can Universe 7 figure out who's attacking them in time to save themselves from impending disaster? As right now, we're about to dive into the Dragon Ball Super Episode 119 preview to further dissect, analyze, and break down the events coming involving both Universe 7 and Universe 4. And again, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button alongside enabling all notifications. That way you guys can be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel in connection to news, information, updates, and spoilers. Hashtag Dragon Ball Squad as we kick off the Dragon Ball Super episode 119 preview with Android 17 having to be attacked from behind and it looks like whatever is attacking him doesn't seem to just be attacking him once but rather multiple times as this is the first time I believe we've seen 17 in significant trouble in the idea that he doesn't seem to know just who or exactly what is attacking him as we transition into the next shot here with Android 18 having to find herself in the exact same position as her brother and again being attacked multiple multiple different times, except unlike her brother having to be attacked from behind, she actually looks like she's being attacked from the front. So I said this prior in my predictions video that I firmly believe that this is going to be the work of Daemon and his brother, as we haven't seen those characters at all in the Tournament of Power, as we transition into the next shot here, with Catella having to laugh very maniacally in the background, as it says Universe 4 finally reveals their trump card. And I do think that their ultimate trump card is in fact Daemon and his twin brother, because where were they the entire time of this tournament? There are 13 minutes left, so I'm gonna go off on a limb and saying that I do believe that Catella's secret weapon is in fact going to be Daemon, and of course his brother, but you have to ask yourself as to why exactly is Kitella laughing and who in the world is attacking Android 17 and 18. As we transition into the next shot here, once more we get to see how 18 is being struck from behind and just as noted in the spoiler reveal a few days ago, if you guys have missed that video out, be sure to go on ahead and check it out. It looks like Universe 4 does actually end up ringing somebody out from Universe 7. So that person I do believe might be Android 18 in the idea that as we transition into the next shot here, Krillin looks to be very, very concerned, very shocked in the fact that Android 18, his wife, is being severely beat down by this unknown enemy, or B, one of the reasons as to why he may be reacting to this is because it is possible that Android 18 might be eliminated in this episode. Now, keep in mind, guys, Universe 7 still has a large number of fighters still remaining in the ring. So unless, of course, they plan on saving Jiren in the idea of having him be the one to ring out many of the Universe 7 fighters, I do think it is time for somebody to go and I prognosticate that that person is going to be Android 18. As we transition into the next shot here, Gohan looks ready, Piccolo looks ready, and it says here, but we can't see our enemies at all, hence the word enemies. So it isn't just one person attacking them, there seem to be multiple fighters attacking them, which supports my idea in the concept that I believe that this is going to be the work of Daemon and his brother, considering that by the end of the day, Universe 4 doesn't really have that many other fighters left. So this in fact may be Catella's trump card, are the two microscopic warriors as we transition into the next shot here and we see this little blue character he seems to be emitting some sort of frequency waves or energy waves in the sky as it says damn it we can't do anything where are they attacking from so nobody seems to understand what is happening where they're being targeted from but this character here does seem to have a huge effect on our fighters as we transition into the next shot here and we see Piccolo he's attacking these shadow clones and no it's not Hit's shadow clones just in case you guys are still wondering on the idea that Hit is somehow in some way shape or form still in the tournament of power if you guys have not been convinced by now that he is officially gone so there is no Hit clones in this ring however there is something to note about what Piccolo is attacking because these shadow figures seem to represent the former fighters that we saw in the Tournament of Power, and evidence to support that is going to be later on in this video, but Piccolo seems to be attacking something, and to our surprise, nothing seems to be working. As we get to see in the next shot here, Piccolo once again goes on the offensive, but he can't seem to hit whatever he's targeting, so in the next shot, we get to see Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta, in what I assume to be his battle against the policeman from universe number three. Now that to me seems to make sense considering that Vegeta left off with the universe 
Universe 3 policeman by the end of Dragon Ball Super Episode 118 and warning the policeman that he is in a terrible mood. So I'm prognosticating right now that Vegeta is finally going to ring out the Universe 3 policeman. I don't see him lasting very long. However, everyone needs to keep their eye on Vegeta because I have a very very strong feeling about him as we transition deeper in this tournament as we transition into the next shot here and Goku seems to be doing something that a lot of people seem to have missed out and it says here damn it we can't do anything where are they attacking from so with this shot notably here Goku is looking down on the ground Goku cocks his fist and he's about to punch something as you guys can see in the next shot Goku strikes the ground so maybe Goku is trying to figure out where these microscopic warriors are in attempts of actually hitting them and judging based on this preview it looks like Goku is going to attempt to try to find Daemon and his brother but to no avail which is why I ultimately believe that these fighters will not be discovered by Goku but of course I do think that by the end nobody from Universe 7 is going to discover Daemon and his brother but instead I think they're going to understand that yes Catella has hidden fighters and they're not more or less going to be executed or fully brought out to the open yet but I do think that by the end this is the beginning of something very well planned out by Catella in affecting Universe 7 as we transition into the next shot here and now Catella seems to be a bit worried as it says I swear we'll uncover the identity of this mystery enemy so they're trying to figure out what this is this personally reminds me a lot of the episode involving the sniper from the other universe in which we saw Ten Shinhan fight against and I think that this is more or less the same thing they're trying to discover Daemon they're trying to figure out where he is and Catella for some reason he doesn't seem to be happy he's covering his eyes maybe something happens to where one of his fighters gets affected and gets wrung out from the tournament and my favorite shot as you guys can see here is Beerus and I don't know what the heck he's doing he looks to have like that murpy derp face going on either a he's trying to mock Catella or b which I truly hope isn't the case but more or less poor animation which again Beerus's face looks very funny and I think that by the end of it he's simply taunting universe 4 as we trans transition into the next shot here, Catella looks very sinister, he's observing Beerus, he's keeping a close eye, he's smiling, and by the end of it, I think that Catella's ultimate plan is to have his microscopic warriors simply outlast Universe 7, even though we understand based on the manga and in the anime that these two have a nasty beef with each other, I do believe that Catella is planning on either outlasting Beerus, considering that we already know that his fighters aren't going to be anywhere near on par with Jiren. So that's pretty much that as we transition into one of the most controversial images in Vegeta having to slip by the edge of the ring in what seemingly looks like he's about to be eliminated. Now I'm just going to say this, I do not believe that Vegeta is going to get wrung out from the Tournament of Power this early. I think that Vegeta has more to offer if and only if, and I'm just saying this as a big if, if Vegeta by some mere coincidence by some chance ends up getting eliminated from the tournament in next week's episode you can expect all hell to be raised in the fandom as that would be considered if anything the biggest shock but also the biggest load of crap ever to be seen as Vegeta hasn't really been shown to fight anybody of god tier status other than Topo momentarily but we're all expecting more from Vegeta so no I don't think that Vegeta is dumb enough to get tossed out yes I do think that Daemon and his brother and possibly some of the other Universe 4 fighters they're going to attempt to throw him out and maybe Maybe it's going to work, but I do think that Vegeta is going to hang in there. He's going to throw himself back in. I don't see Vegeta having to get foddered, and by some chance, if he does, that'll be a huge detriment to our Universe 7 roster as we transition into the next shot here. As once again, we get to see Gohan now having to be attacked by this mysterious fighter. And if you guys know carefully, he's not in his ultimate form. But once again, the fighters are vowing to uncover the identity of the mystery warriors as we transition into the next shot here as the episode is entitled Unavoidable, the fierce stealth attack with 17 having to look down 
and I really hope to God that nothing happens to 17, although I am really hoping that Android 18 goes because I think that she served her time, she's had her purpose in the tournament, and, I, and now I feel like it's just time for her to go. As we transition into the final images, the first having to be seen here, as it says, don't miss it, but we get to see how the little blue warrior we saw earlier is recreating these shadow clones of the previous fighters. Now, I don't really know based off of the overall outline as to which fighters these are right here, but they're standing in front of Gohan, they're standing in front of Piccolo, and the next shot here displays more or less as to who's being shown as all of the fighters having to be shown in this image are of course Basil, Lavender, Bergamo, and of course the rabbit that we saw from universe number 9. So keep in mind, this little fighter seems to have mimicked and created his own variation of universe 9 and their fighters, so maybe, maybe, and again this is a big maybe, maybe this little warrior is also able to recreate Hit, Kefla, Kale, Caulifla, Kaba, Frost, because if he's creating a lot of these eliminated fighters, you can only imagine as to what else he can create, especially with the ones just recently eliminated. So Gohan and Piccolo are gonna be in trouble, as once again, it looks like they're gonna be fighting the Universe 9 fighters. And in the last image having to be shown here, we get to see what it looks to be Botamo. So we see Botamo on screen. He looks very angry, very menacing. And again, these aren't the actual fighters, but I do believe that by the end, this little guy has the ability to recreate various different people that were just recently erased. So it is possible to see Hit, it is possible to see other fighters. Oh my god, now that I'm thinking about it, it is possible for us to see Rebrianne again. Oh my god. All right, just when you guys thought Rebrianne was gone, it looks like this little guy has the, the potential to recreate her in the Tournament of Power again. Oh my god, can we just stay away from Rebrianne? Once again, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Post your comments down below as I would like to know what you guys have to say down in the comment section. Is this Daemon? Is, is this his brother? And essentially, what is happening to Gohan and Piccolo as opposed to the other fighters? Because if you pay attention, it looks like Vegeta, Android 18, Android 17, and Goku seem to be struggling and fighting these other separate beings, while Piccolo and Gohan seem to be fighting these holograms and these illusions. It just seems to be very wacky and tacky to me and seeing how everyone's fighting off different people but post your comments down below guys as to what you guys believe thank you all so much for watching once again the road to 450,000 subscribers continues guys make sure to go on ahead and subscribe by punching that subscribe button leave a like down below for more tune back in for more and i'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below have a great day everybody oh my god rebrand might come back again jesus christ peace